Well, now that we've been tracking activity, the next thing we have to be thinking about is how do we make ourselves unique? How do we separate ourselves in the world of whole goods where everything is really kind of the same? How do we separate ourselves, create this uniqueness that makes people only want to come to us? Well, the key in whole goods sales is understanding that we don't want to sell a unit. We don't want to sell a specific thing because everybody you compete against with that has the same brand you have can compete head to head with you it's an apples to apples comparison. And if your margins are a little bit better or your pricing is not right, you may lose a sale because of that. So I tell my owners, what I really want you to do is not sell units, but sell packages. The people that are the most successful in dealerships don't sell individual units. They take a unit and they build a package around it so that no competitor can actually do an apples to apples comparison because now you're comparing an apple to an orange. And we want to be the orange out here. We want to have a package created that nobody else can really know what our margins are and parts of it. Think about the fast food industry again as an example. So years ago, and, and I always like to use McDonald's as an example because I think McDonald's does a great job and they've really got the industry figured out. They were the lead in so many things that happened in the fast food industry. But years ago, when you go into a McDonald's, you ordered a sandwich and maybe fries and a drink. And what McDonald's wanted to do was increase the value, the dollar value that they had. And so what they created was, was, was packages. They created like a package one and a package two and a package three. And it came with a sandwich and fries and a drink of some sort. And you could even make the package bigger if you wanted to. And so they were really the first ones to start packaging things together so that they could bring more value, get more sales dollar value out of each customer in there. And it also became harder for a person to price shop. So if you're looking for a burger, you can buy a burger at McDonald's, but what you really bought was the value meal, right? Number one, number two, number three, whatever it happened to be. And it was a little better deal for you if you bought, and rather than buying them all separately. But what McDonald's was doing was actually getting more dollar value out of each customer transaction that happened. And so that's what I want you to do today. I want you to look at your products, look at the units you sell, and I want you to create value packages for everything that you have. Now to do this, I have a whole goods package calculator built in again into the toolbox. And all you have to do is go in and you'll put your model in and you'll put what you're buying it for, what you're selling it for, right? And what you're margining on it. And then you can put accessories that you might have on it. You'll build those in and this calculator will actually let you create a package. And it shows you the, the dollar value you have and the value proposition that the customer is going to have with this package and how much you make off of that package. And the cool thing about it is as you develop these packages, nobody's really going to know how you built the package out, if you, you, what you used as a part of the package. I have a dealership that I work with that sells tractors and they are the masters of packaging. And I know other dealers get frustrated at them because they go, well, they can't sell that stuff that cheap. And I go, they can because you don't know other than the, the unit of tractor they sell that has a model on it. That's the only thing you know about that package. You don't know the other parts of that package. You don't know what trailer they're putting with it. You don't know what cutter they're putting with it. You don't know what box blade they've got attached to it. You don't know any of those things, right? You don't know what the package value is because you don't know all the components to it because they don't talk about those things. And I said, and they sell tons of packages because when they put the package together, if they go out to any other dealership and price, price each part out separately, the, the dealership with the package is always less because of how the package is built than if they were to go to another dealership and buy each one of those components separately and build their own package. So that's what I want you to do today. I want you to start building packages. You're going to go into the toolbox. There's a whole goods package calculator that I built out in there for you to do it. It's simple to use. You'll see how it's put together. But your goal today is to start building out packages for everything, every major unit you sell. It may take a little bit of creativity as you do it, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. Never, ever let a competitor do an apples to apples comparison with you. You want to be a profitable dealership. You're going to build a package where you're the only one that knows what it is and nobody else compete can compete with you because they simply don't know what your package consists with. Take some time. Spend the time that you need today to do this. It'll add dollars to your bottom line. We'll see you tomorrow.